We're still in the Easter mood, and there's a very big question that dawns the minds of many. How we celebrate Easter? Have we lost the essence of Easter? Moving forward, how are we supposed to carry the Easter message throughout the year? Joining me to discuss this very important topic is Reverend Kojo Amu Asari. He is the pastor in charge for ICGC Zoe Temple, Tema Community 5. Good morning. Good morning. How are we doing? We are blessed by grace. We thank God. And how's the Easter going for you? I think it's been fulfilling. Hmm. It's been really fulfilling. Okay, yeah. great. So let me jump on your words. When you say that Easter has been fulfilling, for many people, the celebration of Easter has become a mere holiday where people take time off work and are enjoying with their families, traveling from Accra to maybe their hometowns. Is that really what Easter is about for a Christian? No, Easter is much more bigger than that. Hmm. As a matter of fact, Easter is an annual festival okay. celebrated by Christians globally mm. to commemorate the death, the barrier, and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Right. Um, it is preceded with a Lent, which is 40 days fast, mm. and then a Palm Sunday that commemorates mm. the triumphant entry into Jerusalem. Jerusalem. Right. So basically, that is the essence of Easter. Mm. But you know, there's always a resistance of what the world want to do mm. to contest what Christianity represents. Right. So when you look at Christmas, for instance, mm. in certain places, it's about Santa Claus. Yeah. But he didn't die for us. Jesus was the one who died mm. for us. So when you look at Easter in certain places, it's Easter egg and all of that. Mm. And of course, in our nation, a lot of people travel to um, Kwa Wu right. and places just to celebrate the holidays. Yeah. But Easter is very important. And I think that it is the responsibility of Christians mm -hmm. to communicate the essence of Easter to humanity so that we wouldn't miss the true meaning of Easter. Right. But in the celebrations, even for some Christians, you realize in some churches, people on Easter Friday will wear black clothes. Others will really not matter what kind of clothing you wear. Is there any significance in the way we celebrate it? Is there a day on which you're supposed to dress or be adorned in something and a different day do something else? I think the color shade in terms <laughs> of what people wear, hmm. especially on Good Friday it is purely cultural. Okay. You know, in our culture, when people wear black, mm. it depicts that they are mourning. Okay. So people feel that Jesus Christ died on Friday. Mm. So really, why don't us uh, wear black just to mourn with, mourn him. with him mm. and, and reflect the essence of how we feel about mm. his death? But I think we should be liberated from that tradition right. because mm. as we sit here, Easter is the occasion that brings a certain awareness okay to what Christ did on the cross. Mm. And I think that the reality of Easter really talks about the resurrection of our Lord Savior. And that is what right. makes Christianity unique. Mm. And you know, on that same score, people's worry or confusion is the fact that we celebrate something that was done many years ago. And so in remembrance of Easter, what happened then? Don't we need to be in a joyous mood, a celebration mood, rather than a mourning mood that we see certain people, you know, take um, form? Because when you say we are celebrating Easter, we are not killing Jesus over again. He's sure. dead and gone. Yeah. And like you said, his death, he resurrected. And so it's more of the resurrection that we need to be, you know, exemplifying. And sure. so why do we go back and try and reenact some people who hang somebody on a cross? Be, I mean, in Takradi, we saw Judas being hung there because yeah. he was the one who gave Jesus yeah. Do we need to do all these things? I don't think we need to do all of that. But, you know, your actions basically will always be a reflection of your understanding. Right. And I think some people haven't understood the essence mm. of the Easter story. Okay. You know, Christ died on the cross. Mm. And when he died on the cross, he achieved three things. The first is that he completed the work of redemption. Mm. When Christ died on the cross, the Bible says that he went to hell after his death and destroyed the work of the enemy. Mm enemy is satan and apparently satan is the one who initiates sin mm. so when christ conquered sin on the cross he felt that it was also much more important for him to destroy the manufacturer of sin right. and that is satan so that's the first thing that christ did mm. the second assurance of easter is that it guarantees the believer mm. resurrection mm. god used jesus as a prototype mm. just to work out how the resurrection will always be so the Bible says that the same spirit that resurrected Jesus Christ from the dead shall quicken our mortal body. Right. That gives the believer hope 
that when we die on the second coming of Christ, those who are alive in the Lord and those who died in the Lord will rise again. Mm. The third essence of the importance of Christmas is that it's giving Jesus Christ authority over all realms. Right. The Bible says in Philippians chapter 2, verse 9, and that when he rose from dead, God gave him a name that is above every name, mm. and that the mention of the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow, mm. on earth, in heaven, and under earth. So it means that Jesus carries authority. Mm. And for us as Christians, we identify with the authority right. and the power of God because we are seated in heavenly places far above principalities and powers. So mm. once you understand this, this concept of Easter, mm. then you know how to celebrate, to reflect the moment and i think that it should be a season of victory it certainly is a season of victory so moving forward as you know a pastor if you were given the platform to preach to your your church your congregants what would it be for you to moving forward in ghana as a whole as we celebrate easter what kind of message do you want us to carry across throughout the whole year because certainly i don't think you want it to be a thing where we remember just in april and it's forgotten yeah it's, it's important that the essence of Christian um, Easter guides our thinking mm. in everything that right. we do. You know, when Paul went to Athens to share the gospel mm -hmm. with them, some of them mocked him. Mm -hmm. Others were indecisive. They said, we will hear this matter again the second time. And others believed. Mm. I believe that the same reaction will happen in our day. Okay. Some people will mock the story of Easter. Other people will say, I'm not convinced, I need more time. Mm -hmm. Other people will also believe and come along with us. Mm -hmm. Now, the moment you believe the story of Easter, then you should be able to pick lessons out of it that will guide you. Mm -hmm. You know, when Jesus Christ was in the Garden of Gethsemane, he was praying, and his first prayer statement was like, Father, if it is possible, let this cup pass away from me. But then he concluded by saying, nevertheless, mm -hmm. not as I will, but thy will be done. So he was relentless in mm -hmm. his prayers. And I think that prayer is crucial. And every one of us should be able to cultivate the habit of prayer and be determined. And not only to do our will, mm -hmm. but to do the, the will, will of the God. one who sent us. Certainly. And on that note, let me say thank you to you, Reverend Kojo Amua. Sorry. No, before I wrap up, let me just pick your thoughts on this. Yesterday, the chief imam celebrated 100 years and he celebrated it with Christ the King Catholic Church. What's your take on that? I think that was a beautiful thing. Mm -hmm. I mean, when I saw it, I, I saw the unity mm -hmm. of religion right. and for us being together mm -hmm. as a nation. Mm -hmm. And for me, that was symbolic. Mm -hmm. And I think that we have to say kudos to him. It is an example of leadership and it should bring all of us together mm -hmm. as a nation and fight the cause and make sure we make Ghana a better place than we met it. Finally, your Easter message to everyone out there. My Easter message to everybody is that Christ died and he rose again. I want to take this opportunity to encourage humanity that whatever is dead in our life, God has given us a new page. God has given us the opportunity to bounce back. Probably the past had not been the best of experiences for you, but let's trust God for a better opening. Once the stone had been rolled from the tomb of Jesus Christ, it has given us the opportunity to bounce back and it will make us better, bigger and greater. Well, on that note, a very big thank you to you, Reverend Kodra Muasari. He is pastor in charge of ICGC Zoe Temple Tema Community 5. We have been discussing Easter and the best way to carry the Easter message throughout the whole year. It's not just about the fancy celebrations, but make sure you carry the power of resurrection because that's what Christ did on the cross for us. He died, he rose again. And certainly if you are alive, you have that hope. Go out and spread the good news of the gospel. Bye.